This September, we held an event to kickstart a new ecosystem of young champions building sustainable farming and food systems that nourish people and regenerate the planet. FarmEd is helping to build this network with young people. It's called Emergent Generation. The most interesting thing that I've learned today is how everything is put together. It all connects, um, up from the land users, farmers, the growers, all the way up to policymakers, government. Um, it's all about having to connect them together, learn the same, educate. This has really helped me feel so connected to people because we've just been encouraged to just have conversations. Um, within the sessions, in the breaks, it's just been conversation after conversation. I feel like I sometimes exist in a sea of pessimism and naysayers who maybe don't have the vision that I sh don't share my vision. Um, so it's been really fantastic to just get together with a group of like-minded people and um, make those connections and talk the same language with uh, people that understand. Even just connecting to people, that means being connected to Earth because we are one with each other. So we all have a very common goal, so we are related in one way or another. I think to be connected to people in the food system, you really need to understand what that means from a grassroots level. I think a lot of people these days are very disconnected from where their food comes from. And this idea that even if we didn't have any farming anywhere, that food would just appear and you'd have something to eat. And I think you need to encourage people to reconnect with their food and that really does mean bringing people out into landscapes, onto farms and really showing them where food and materials are originating from. A place like this allows you to connect with like-minded people that might have a kind of similar mission to you but come from a wide range, wide range of backgrounds and knowledge areas. So being able to connect with people and kind of soak up their wisdom and their insights uh, hopefully means that I can take away something inspiring um, and inspire the people that I work with. I've met so many interesting people um, from all walks of life, from um, the buying um, sector, from health and nutrition, other like-minded farmers. Now it's like, how can these droplets actually become a wave, come together to be a wave of revolution that we need to see? So I think for me, the work is in tying those projects together so that they can actually see where, where each other's at and how we, can, how we can collaborate. Do you know, I think the thing that I've really learned is that young people totally get the crossover between spirituality and soil. The kind of like practical side of it feels like everyone's up to speed on that. They get the, the problems with the current system and the benefits of the regen model and it's now this question of how do we get there and I think yeah these people the people that I've met are all really clued into that question and they're not just talking from a scientific perspective but they're also understanding that this movement is something much much more deep than just we need to be regen it's like what does that really mean? Things that I'm going to take away from this are I thought that I never liked farming um, I grew up on a farm I thought I didn't like it. I came here today and found out that maybe I don't have to be a farmer to be involved um, within the holistic food system and regen ag. Um, I can come in, policy maker, anything like that, but just being part of that solution is very important. So. I think skills that I've learnt have been ones that I've kind of shied away from in the past and I, it's been good to kind of force me to think about them and, and a lot of that is thinking about anything business related and, and economics, uh, thinking about money, because it's true that for, for anything that we do to be truly sustainable, it has to be economically sustainable, um, which I find it's not part of, it doesn't feel like part of my skill set to think about those things. I think it's kind of taking that principle of uh, fork, farm to fork, um, letting people know um, where their food comes from and how their food is grown. I think it's really important for people to be involved even just uh, consciously in um, the processes involved in growing food. I really, really enjoyed listening to the breadth of speakers that uh, have been on the, on the panel today. We've had people for, uh, like 
farmers that have started up uh, with their families uh, only recently, um, to academics, to people that are working uh, with cooperatives and kind of social enterprises. And it's just been really, really interesting and motivating to kind of go away and take some sort of individual positive action um, and feel empowered where you can. And know that you're not alone in the struggle to being regenerative and kind of tackling the ecological crisis that is very much happening. Um, but that we can kind of take action where, where possible. I've definitely learnt quite a bit that I can implement probably in looking at my own future in this field about um, the kind of economic side of things and how it works um, and fits with the current model that we've got of whether that's capitalism or the kind of corporate controlled food system that we've got, how we can look at kind of constructively building a new way and not just totally diverging from the current system which we have to kind of work with and understand in order to make a change. I will scream it from the rooftops and tell people that things need to be done because we're living in a world where we are lucky. I am lucky to have been here to be educated in the way that I have but people don't have these opportunities so I feel like we should come together and create that opportunity for people to have that equality and then be able to have something to say. I think it will be to try and really build on this and that this is not this just one event that you know it, it was a great thing and then we just walk away and nothing happens. Uh, it'd be great to build on this uh, particularly amongst uh, young people like ourselves uh, and myself uh, and to actually really branch out and also reach out to people who are not here today, who are not necessarily completely passionate about this, but actually starting to have those conversations um, and trying to link it, I think, with uh, other issues as well, uh, whether that be politics or economics or uh, other issues or co just culture, you know, music and stuff. Um, I think that that is something I really would like to take forward. Uh, the entire weekend has been incredible to meet so many like-minded people. Um, and staying connected to everybody is, is one of my goals. I'd really love to ensure that we have a platform or we start a platform where we can all help each other. So it's been really constructive, it's not just loads of theory, you know, sometimes you get bogged down in all this information but actually a lot of it has been like, okay, what can we do now and how can we implement things? I think the session on integrated local delivery was absolutely brilliant. It was very practical and especially for young people who are entering the agricultural scene and trying to make an impact and building community. I feel like it was one of the practical ways that showed us how we could do this and the resources that are available, the monies available, the grants, the places to act from. It just made it more, it made it smaller and realistic to know that if you do go out to ask these organizations for the grants with a great cause in mind, with the goal of building community, at the end of the day, you will get it and the impact will be worthwhile. For one of the first times, you could realistically sit down and have a plan for a community to bring about change. And it's just been really, really interesting and motivating to kind of go away and take some sort of individual positive action um, and feel empowered where you can. And know that you're not alone in the struggle to being regenerative and kind of tackling the ecological crisis that is very much happening, um, but that we can kind of take action where, where possible.